Hey guys, it's Eggman5000 here, and I'm going to be doing a tutorial today that lots of you have been asking me to do lately. Um, something that lots of you guys have been wondering about. Um, so, it's actually a tutorial on how to render your videos in Movie Maker, you know, because you're getting all those fraps files, they're really big files, they're all separate, and you need to put them together. And you can really reduce the file size. Uh, I use Movie Maker because I'm a noob. Uh, I don't really like Vegas. Sometimes I use Vegas. Um, that's a completely different tutorial. I had to actually use a YouTube tutorial for Vegas. I don't even remember how to do that. You guys can search that yourself, but <clears throat> Movie Maker is pretty simple and it's pretty much the same concept, so I recommend just using it. Um, I will have a download link in the description for Movie Maker 2011 for Vista and Windows 7. Just right here, you just go download now, and then it'll give you that. You say run, say whatever. Um, if you have a Mac, I would just say get a PC, but then again, just to be nice to you, there is apparently something called iMovie or something for Mac, which you can use. Now, I don't even really know how to use that. I've never actually used it. Um, I've just heard about it, but I guess you can try that out. I'm sure it's probably the same concept. Now, I'm just going to show you quickly how to do it. So, you're going to go and open your movie maker. <coughs> if it ever opens. Okay, see, and then just click here to browse for more videos and photos. There's also that one up there. Add videos and photos. So now you're just going to go to your Fraps folder. Now this is on my old computer because I'm at my mom's today. So I'm indeed doing this on my old computer so my layout is a bit different. So I have a whole bunch of crap files in here. Anyways, since I didn't really have anything on here, I just randomly recorded the desktop. Um just to get some random video files in here so I'm just going to quickly go and do that and then you just stick your files in there you just select them all it will automatically place them in order and then they'll just come in here now it should come in faster for you guys just I'm doing this on my old computer which is as slow as a piece of shit and then when I'm recording this it'll just be really laggy for me but it actually doesn't take that long and then you just have your files down here and then you can so pretty much if you want to upload straight to YouTube you can just click the big YouTube button you can say I don't know what resolution you want I usually do 720 so you can just do 720 you can do 1080 okay you click on it and then if it ever loads uh, the next part should load in a second oh my god there we go oh yes it's lagging yeah, so you gotta sign into your YouTube account. Um, I think it m probably asks you for your Windows Live ID before this. Um, it doesn't for me because I've already said it, so um, it doesn't ask for me at the end. It's just remember it, but it probably will. <coughs> so just be aware of that. Just enter your Windows Live ID. Oh, wrong password. Whoops, that's my old password. Yeah, there we go. Um, so new stick title random shit. I don't know, whatever, and you put your description in, and then your tags, and then what category, and all that, and then blah, blah, blah. Right? And then just click publish. And then from there, it'll automatically start rendering it. And once it's done rendering in whatever resolution you chose, it'll automatically start uploading it. Now, if you're like me, and you have shitty internet, you on disconnecting, reconnecting, and you use Google Chrome to upload your videos. Um, you want to upload straight to YouTube from here. You can always just go here, and then you go save movie. And then you can, if you do for high definition display, that's automatically 1080p. Um, and if you're like me, you want 720. I already created a custom setting of 720p, but just to show you how, creating a custom setting. And then you just say 1280 by 720, or whatever resolution you want to do. And then your bitrate and all that. I don't know what bitrate is. I think it automatically changes to the default one that you should be having. Um, you can keep your frame rate at 30 FPS because YouTube automatically downgrades it to 30 FPS anyway, so there's no point in changing that up. Um, and then you can just stick in your custom name. Like for me, I did 720p. <coughs> um, yeah, I guess the default audio format's fine. That's what I did. Um, yeah, and then you just click save, and then it'll tell you to save it somewhere. Save custom setting. Um, yeah, automatically save it here. I just kept it in there, you know, because it's just where it does it. And then 
yeah, don't change the file extension because it needs the file extension to know. I don't know if, and then you just click save and then you're done and it'll come up in your thing and then you can, no I don't because I already have it. <clears throat> so you can just go down here and click 720p and it'll just ask you where to save it and then you're like okay and then you save it, I usually just save it on my desktop and then you want to upload via Google Chrome. I uh, hope this helped you guys and well, I don't know. Uh, yeah. So if it helped, then I guess you can maybe give me a like on this video, because it always helps giving likes. And if you want to see some more, more of my videos, you can click that big subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.